What's going on lads, what's the crack and welcome back. We are going to be doing all these reviews. We've got the blue lock ones, we've got two player of the weeks and of course we've got the club uh, classic number 10 players as well. We're going to be doing all these with training guides and everything but we are going to start with the player of the week. A lot of people ask me about this, even a lot of newcomers that have joined the stream yesterday. We did an 11 hour stream yesterday, we're going to be streaming as well today so make sure you keep it locked to the channel with our second giveaway. We did a giveaway yesterday as well. This, to me, is a Newcomers Player of the Week pack. What I would like to see happen with the Player of the Weeks is for them to be able to have just a very unique card, whether that's unique skills, an added stat that's like 99 overall. So say for Lewandowski, who you see here, if you've got any version of Lewandowski, you're not going to need to spin for this guy, man, even with his booster and with the new manager boost as well. But what I would like to see with these Player of the Weeks is that he could have like 99 uh, heading and 99 finishing. Let me know if that's a thumbs up or a thumbs down, because honestly, the stats with these players are irrelevant. You can change them when the gameplay does be changed. A lot of old cards need to be completely retooled and retrained for where the current gameplay is now with V3.4. And we're going to be doing a breakdown of what's changed and a breakdown of retraining every single player in this game. But for now, I think a lot of people are going to struggle with that. Now, he does get a plus three, obviously, being a player of the week with the A rating. The rest of his stats, man, and skills, because you can't give him any additional skills, you can't train his positions in the proficiency that they've now added with V3.4, I just think it's a bit of a bust, man. Even this Lewandowski card. Now, obviously, you're going to be getting boost to his stats. You're going to be getting plus three to some stats with the new manager boost and his obvious booster within the game as well. But I would like to see his finishing or any stat that's fairly high or else give him a very unique stat. So for example, you could give him like 99 balance. Now, you'll talk about broken cards and you'll say, what is Barry talking about? But what I'm saying is that I'm just giving a very, very, very base example of it. It could be 99 in attack and awareness, 99 in type possession. Doesn't have to be a game breaking type stat. But at the moment, these stats that you see here and these overall ratings for player of the weeks are pretty much useless unless you are a newcomer. So for Lewandowski, he's just a traditional goal scorer. Uh, apart from Valverde and Musiala, Musiala gets a good booster. If you've got the better version of Musiala or any other version of Musiala, this guy's down as a creative playmaker. I would prefer the whole player version of him. And I do love this guy. I mean, he's an unbelievable attacking midfielder. That's where I play him with his max booster. This guy also has super sub, double touch, soul control. He doesn't have flip flap and you can't give it to him. So straight away, that kind of holds your hands a little bit or holds your feet, I should say, um, and ties your feet a little bit. Uh, but he does have some nice... Uh, skills and stats within this and with his booster he's going to have 90 90 and 90 in his dribbling stats and of course the low pass and finishing is going to be very high with brilliant acceleration and balance if you spin this guy as a newcomer you've got your end game amf for the rest of the duration of eFootball 24 in my personal opinion he's an absolute beast very high weak foot accuracy as well when he does use it as a creative playmaker he is top dollar now the rest of the cards in here lads i'm not even going to waste your time i'm going to keep this short and sweet the rest of these cards without a booster are just your traditional goal poacher center forwards or cbs that are not really going to make it into a mid-game even level squad okay finishing at 86 kicking power is fairly good attacking awareness fairly okay i mean he's got a standard face his player skills leave a lot to be desired but he does have heading acrobatic finishing and aerial superiority one touch pass and super sub is nice chip shot control but no other shooting pa uh, skills for this he's a bit of a bust fred the x red very very solid box to box as well he's got an in-game face got some really nice player skills but honestly, you know, GP Barella, GP Shuamene, GP Camavinga, GP Sangare, any of those cheap GP options that you can get are going to give Fred a run for his money, especially as you go up the GP, uh, such as Barella or any of those guys. And this guy's got fairly okay stats, but it's just not where it needs to be. I think as a center midfielder attacking box to box, he's not bad. It's a very unique card with high aggression. And of course, that's acceleration and balance as well as tight possession and low pass. Very nice. And he's got one touch pass, low lofted and weighted pass. We didn't see much of them low lofted passes when he was at United. Um, so I don't know how he gets that card. But then some of the cards are a bit weird like that. We also talk about another center back that we're going to have that's a build up. Again, generic face that will put a lot of people off for spinning for him. 189 CM. Bad acceleration, but okay speed. Rest of his stats. This is literally, lads, a dime a dozen. You can, you can just get a CB with these stats very, very easily. I know you don't need to train him up or anything, but honestly, it's not really worth it. The same with this CF here. This guy is uh, just a standard CF. 
He's not going to really do much. Again, area superiority and super sub as a player of the week is fine. Nothing to be sneezed at. But again, you're not really going to be getting these guys in and expecting to be banging in goals, especially when you come up against top division guys. Division 5 upwards, you know, is going to be difficult with these cards unless you are really good at the game or unless you have your heart set on using these cards. Excuse me. My throat is sore from yesterday, lads. Standard keeper, um, not even going to get into that too much. I mean, he looks like, I don't know, like something out of that Narcos uh, TV show. I don't know what they're going on with that uh, with that standard face, with the mustache. I don't know what it is, man. But uh, yeah, he looks like the guy in Narcos. Remember the police officer, Steve in Narcos? Is that his name? Um, again, just a standard goalkeeper. Doesn't go to 19, anything apart from awareness. And then, of course, we do have Nuno Santos, who is our fullback finisher at left back. He looks very, very nice as well. Good acceleration, stamina, lofted pass, aggression, and defensive engagement. Our defensive uh, engagement, yeah. And then the rest of his player skills are quite tasty as well. But again, if you were looking to get a defensive or fullback finisher, you can always just decide whether you want a left back that can get forward with the ball, such as Davies or Cancelo or any of those guys that can still do a job defensively for you because of the way the game is at at the moment. Uh, we also have another right back and Vitinha here as well. This right back is probably one of the worst pick picks in this pack. Very nice speed and stamina. That's going to artificially increase his overall rating, but the rest of the card is quite poor. And Vitinha here that we see, He's down as a whole player. He's got excellent dribble and tight possession and low pass. His balance is good, but his speed and acceleration and everything else with this card. He can't pa he can't finish and his attack and awareness is too low for a whole playing AMF. Um, he does have some nice player skills, double touch, soul control, but doesn't have flip flap. Again, these are for newcomers, lads. So I would definitely save your coins until the next ones. Valverde is always going to be a bit of a beast. I like Valverde. I think that he can play in different positions. If you get a lot of position trainers, you can turn this guy into literally MacGyver with the most, you know, he can play any position like Lorente can. Um, but I would still prefer Lorente who you can get for free on the pack with the club icons. So yeah, listen, this is a fairly weak pack. I'm not going to waste too much time on it. Honestly, I would say that if you are spinning for this, you probably just want to spin and get your 300 coins into this in the hopes that you get Musiala if you don't have a better version than this, which it is a good version of him in fairness, or Valverde. But you can buy GP Valverde and have the card 90% as good, as well as be able to give him extra skills. Lewandowski is the same. I would definitely recommend Harry Kane over Lewandowski just for his movement and the way that he moves in the game. And he's also a little bit better to finish the ball um, and a little bit stronger in the air as well and the game has improved in the air as well so that is something next up we're going to have the rest of the player of the weeks i think this is a way better pack here and you get a free one as well with your login um as you see here you will get your free one i've already got and spun for dave Orea. we played with him on the stream as well but you can spin for another three of those so we'll do that next and then of course we'll have the free blue lock ones which you can unlock as well so that is it for me i will see you guys later in the stream we're going to have the rest of these videos up very soon hope that helps hope that answers all your questions about the player of the weeks for me it's a bit of a bust i wouldn't really spin from this week with all the rest of the content but let me know if you are going to spin or not especially if you don't have musiala with the true passing um but yeah let me know